Plus, the feds put the close sign on the world's largest Matanza in New Mexico. It is the biggest event every year for one town. In fact, the annual Matanza attracts thousands of people. But the 11 year run is over. News 13's Katie Kim has the story from the Newsplex. Katie. Tim, the Matanza is a big traditional get together where people slaughter pigs, prepare them, then eat them. But the feds say it's a big safety hazard, and this year they're shutting it down. Once a year, every year, the small town of Berlin booms. Most amount of people we ever see in Berlin at one time ever, honestly, as far as I can think of. Thousands make the trek for the Matanza Bonanza. We have served over 300,000 meals in the 11 years that we've had the event. But after 11 years, the party's over. The Matanza, which is sponsored by the Valencia County Hispano Chamber of Commerce, was scheduled for later this month at the fairgrounds in Berlin. But this letter from the U.S. Department of Agriculture brought the festival to a screeching halt. The feds say the pork festival poses major food safety concerns. The first real time that they've threatened to shut us down in terms of red tagging the hogs going on site if we go through with the event. Edward Calabaza from the Hispano Chamber of Commerce says food safety has never been a problem. We have food inspectors on site, we have the food handling class, and we've never had a complaint. According to Calabaza, the real issue surrounds the admissions fee the Matanza charges fairgoers. He says under USDA rules, food that's purchased needs to fall under specific guidelines. We don't charge people to eat, which is why. Which, that's where the dispute is. I, the USDA thinks we charge the $10 admission to eat, and we charge the $10 admission to view the cultural event. Either way, the Matanza is canceled indefinitely until the Chamber of Commerce and feds reach an agreement. Festival faithfuls are disappointed. It's our way of life. It's how we've all grown up. And being that it's canceled, it is going to hurt a lot of the little business around here. Matanza organizers say the USDA first brought up concerns over the festival in 2007, but this is the first year they threatened to shut the event down. Our calls to USDA officials were not returned. Tim. Thank you, Katie. The Matanza in Berlin also raises thousands of dollars for scholarships. The chamber gives $500 scholarships to 30 college bound students.